what's going on guys on this episode of fan film friday i'm checking out friday the 13th vengeance by brown space films if you're not familiar with them brown space films makes a lot of awesome fan films so go on over to their youtube page and check them out and while you're there don't forget to like and subscribe now on to the film this one opens up in camp crystal lake with some guy cleaning up a mess all of a sudden, a man in a trench coat approaches him and asks to be taken to a site. Clearly, something shady is already going on here. The site in question turns out to be the graves of both Pamela and Jason Voorhees, who the groundskeeper personally moved to put them next to each other. However, Jason's grave is empty. Just then, we find out that the guy in the trench coat is Jason's father, Elias. Meanwhile, a group of kids are hanging out by the lake, doing what all teens do in these movies. One of them gets stoned and decides to go off on his own. Yep, that sounds like a great idea. Has to be expected though, our old pal Jason shows up and smashes his head in with a rock. Then he takes the entire tent that the other two were fucking in and bashes it into the ground like one of the old sleeping bag kills from part 7. The lone survivor of the group finds all the carnage and starts freaking out. After the opening credits, we meet Ashley and Angelica Jarvis, the two daughters of Tommy Jarvis. The younger of the two, Ashley, isn't very fond of being there to visit their dad. Then, we get a trio called Legends 57 filming a commercial for a tour of Crystal Lake, saying that it was Jason's playground. It's pretty cheesy. But if it were me, I'd say, oh, Jason was there, killing people? Yeah, I'm gonna sit this one out. Just then, the sheriff gets questioned about the previous murders and he dismisses them all as a bear attack. Tommy leaves a note for Angelica saying that he's going after Jason, so she enlists the help of a family friend named Robert. Later on, there's some kind of cookout where this drunk guy walks around being a douchebag. Like he smacks this one girl's ass and it's just really, like, crazy. Speaking of crazy, Angelica thinks her dad's crazy about the whole Jason thing, but Robert convinces her that Jason is in fact real and that they need to go find Tommy. Sometime later, the rivals of Legends 57, another tour group, are doing their own Jason tour, but it doesn't seem to be very entertaining. That is, until Jason actually shows up and annihilates them all. Oh yeah, now we're having fun. Rob gets a group together of people whose family members have all survived Jason at some point, and they make a plan to go save Tommy. But it kind of turns into a Jason manhunt. Then, these two guys are camping when Elias just rolls up and kills them for seemingly no good reason. After that, these chicks are fixing their car that broke down when Jason pays them a visit. The group goes to talk to Tommy's therapist because she knows a lot about Jason, and probably knows what's going on, but the visit turns out to be in vain. Then we see a group of inmates in the woods picking up trash, one of which is actually played by Peter Anthony, a really good indie filmmaker. So then, Jason starts killing all the inmates as the group shows up to the woods. They run towards the sound of screaming, because who wouldn't want to do that? And meanwhile, the drunk guy pops back up and steals their jeep. Karma acts pretty quickly, though, because he stumbles right into Jason. That night, the sheriff's department has already been on scene for the recent murders. The group's wandering around the woods with minimal weapons due to all their guns being in the jeep. This whole time, Ashley and one of her friends try to go after her sister, but they're now lost in the woods. Awesome. One of the Legends 57 tour guys are calling it a night after a campfire, and Jason arrives to have a drink with them. As that's going on, Angelica and the group meets up with the others from Legends 57, and they all sit around the fire sharing s'mores. After the sheriff watches the inmate massacre through their body cam, we have a flashback to Camp Crystal Lake in 1957. As it turns out, the sheriff used to be a lifeguard at Crystal Lake, and he's fucking some girl when he should be watching the lake. All of a sudden, some counselors run over frantic saying that Jason just drowned because he wasn't watching him. Oh, so the whole thing's the sheriff's fault. Uh-oh. Back in present day, two of the Legends 57 tourists sneak off into the woods to go, well, do the do. And here's where things get a bit weird. We get another flashback of Crystal Lake after Jason drown. Elias pulls his lifeless body out of the lake and uses the Necronomicon, the book from Evil Dead, to bring him back to life. So it's cool they kept a nod to Jason goes to hell in there. We then get a scene mimicking the one from the original Friday the 13th where Pamela kills the counselors. But it's Elias instead of Pamela. Then, one of the Legends 57 members walks off into the woods with one of the tourists and they start making out. What the hell's going on in this movie? Some of these scenes kind of feel like a softcore porn. But then again, maybe that was intentional. 
That being said, I guess Jason's not a fan of it, though. He dispatches a few others, and then we see Elias show up at the Jarvis house where he kills Angelica's great-grandmother for letting Jason drown. Yep, as it turns out, she was the one that the sheriff was fucking back in 1957. So now we have Elias and Jason both going around just killing everybody, including the other tourists and even the sheriff. The remaining two, Angelica and Rob, go to a cabin and snoop around when Jason shows up to finish them off. Suddenly, Rob decides to go hide under a canoe, which ends up being a terrible idea. Angelica jumps on Jason and starts stabbing him with a little knife, but then Elias kills her and the two of them come face to face. Suddenly, Jason stabs Elias and before he falls over, he pulls Jason's mask off and says that he's not his boy. Huh. Interesting. Surprisingly, one of the deputies is still alive and he rescues Angelica and her sister. So I guess Angelica is still alive. Two weeks later, the deputy is checking on the girls when Tommy gives them a call. However, the call gets dropped. Then the deputy says that they're going to go look for him. Then, Jason is standing next to Elias at a campfire where Elias plans to go after Tommy. The end. Wow, this one had all sorts of cameos in it. It had C.J. Graham, who played Jason in Part 6. It had Steve Dash, who played Jason in Part 2. Even Peter Anthony had a cameo. It was crazy. The action was good. There was gore. It had everything. And lots and lots of boobs. Also, they just made a sequel to this, so I'll be sure to review that one next season for sure. Well, if you want to see this movie for yourself, head on over to Brown Space's YouTube page. That does it for this episode of Fan Film Friday. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And of course, I'll see you on the next one.